Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Nechuk Arts. Today's topic, beer review. Let's get to it, shall we? Today, from my local brewer, one of my local brewers, East L.A. IPA. India Pale Ale, all right? So this beer immediately comes to my heart because those of you who know me, you know that I'm born and raised in East L.A. Proud. <laughs> Maybe time for another story and another day. Listen, uh... I'm glad that my sons did not have to grow up in the particular area and time of East L.A. that I did. So I'm glad for that. But you know what? I still love my community no matter what. East L.A. is still right here always. Now, this comes to us from Crazy Horse Brewing which is uh, located a little bit on the boundaries of East L.A. and Montebello, California. As a matter of fact, Montebello is where I went to high school. So, support your local brewers, as I always say. And I'm going to add a new saying today. If at first the beer experience wasn't great at your local brewer, Give them another chance. Give them another shot later. Let some time pass. <laughs> I say this because I'm going to keep it real. I went out to Crazy Horse Brewing once a while back, right around the time that they first opened. And to be honest with you, I was not impressed. Less than impressed. And I actually never went back. I won't get into the details of why I wasn't impressed because that Angry Horse Brewery, as I knew it then, I'm pretty sure no longer exists. They've matured as brewers and I'm sure have matured as a brewery. So, I'm not going to get into those details and that's why I say give your local brewers a second chance. Let's have a look here at this beer. Uh, slightly dark. Um, it's still got that brownish, goldenish kind of hue, but it is slightly darker. Smell, not a whole lot going on there. Hmm, but we didn't come for the smell. We came for the taste. Let's see what happens. Nice, healthy swig there. That same brown malty um, color comes right into the flavor. Uh, um, it's not very high or sharp on the hops flavor for an IPA and has a little bit of that brownish reddish kind of taste. There is some sharpness to the hops, but it's not very high and it dissipates pretty quickly. So if you're not the kind of person that likes that, that big bite, you know, of the hops, then this is a little closer to something that you might enjoy because it's not huge and it doesn't hang around. In the aftertaste, there is a little bit of the hoppiness in the upper palate that's hanging around, but it's not very sharp, as I say. It's there reminding you that you're drinking an, an IPA. Because it's not very sharp, it's also pretty easy to keep returning to the sip and to drink this beer pretty easily. Let's take a look. At uh, here we go, seven point 
2 ABV, so it's not a small beer. And I bring that up because, you know, it makes you kind of want to keep sipping on it, especially on a warm day like we have here in L.A. today. And so it makes you kind of keep returning to the sip. But it's a tall boy can, and you want to be a little cautious because it will sneak up on you. It's not a children's beer. <laughs> Just a joke, folks. Just a joke. Um... Aftertaste also fleeting really quickly. About the only kind of aftertaste that's hanging around is, as I said, a memory of the hoppiness hanging around the upper palate. It's pleasant enough. It's not a great beer. But I'll tell you what, it's yeah, I'm I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give it a pleasant. <laughs> pleasingly pleasant okay it's not a bad beer it's just not a great beer all right and so in my return to tasting the beers of angry horse brewery i'm going to say this is definitely an improvement definitely a step up and definitely a more mature beer from the young brewery congratulations angry horse This is good. As I say, I keep coming back to it, man. It's pleasantly pleasing. I really kind of like that um, golden warmish that I described as reddish brownish kind of flavoring. Malty. Slightly malty in there. And I like it. So, closing out East LA IPA from Angry Horse Brewing out in Monterrey, California. Support your local brewers. We'll have to have a taster from another one of their beers, and we'll see how that compares. All right, until next time, thanks for joining me here on Netshook Arts Beer Review. Peace.